My first guest is an Emmy and Golden Globe winning actor who stars in the new movie No Sudden Move, which comes to HBO Max July 1st. Please welcome John Hamm. Ladies and gentlemen, John Hamm, mad man. When it's time to be Sergio, he's a sex man. John Hamm, big fan of the hockey team St. Louis Blues. That's his jam. John Ham, mad man. When it's time to be Sergio, he's a sex man. <laughs> Thank you Does for this coming. Feel good or what? That's what I'm talking about. This is. I missed him. But thank you. you. You you were nice enough to do our show when I was doing it from my from my home, and then uh... which was fun. This yeah. is more fun. Yeah. Or funnest. Yeah, it is. This is the is the funnest. I like nothing more than a callback. Uh, and this, yes. Hey, did I hear a, a, a rumor? I heard a rumor about you maybe uh, filming a movie. Uh, are you? Are yes, you I'm filming a movie. <laughs> no, you are. But are you doing? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, you can, maybe you can guess what I'm filming. It starts with F. Yes. And it rhymes with Fletch. <laughs> you are doing we're remaking Fletch? Fletch. Yes, we're uh, rebooting Fletch uh, up in Boston. We start uh, Monday, and we're very excited. Greg Matul is directing. Myself, John Slattery, uh, Holy uh, a moly. cast of others uh, will be in it. That's yes. major. Very exciting. That's very genius. exciting. Yes, very very exciting. It's uh, it's it's uh, it's it's very exciting. We we all love the movie growing up. It's a, Dude, it's an perfect. '80s staple, and we're gonna sort of reboot it and update it for the for the 2000s. You're perfect. Well, thank you. Uh, I want to. Uh, I, I was gonna talk about uh, uh, Top Gun, Maverick, of course. Well, we can talk about that too. Yeah, I mean, I'm so excited. You got some big movies right now. Uh, I always love, but Top Gun, Maverick. Well, I'm, I think I'm just gonna go through the '80s and try to be in all of the either the sequels or the reboots yeah, of all of those. That's so smart. But the, the keep your eyes out for Labyrinth. <laughs> wow! Wow, that would be fantastic. Uh, did you bond with uh, Tom Cruise? TC? Yes, I did. TC? Uh, <laughs> wow. I did mean, call it TC? Yeah, well, you know. Wow. Once you, once you know him, he's kind of. <laughs> Uh, no, I had, actually, I had actually met Tom a, a long time before. Uh, I was at a, a friend's, uh, Jimmy Kimmel's house. The, 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 another uh -huh. Jimmy. He uh, has big, he has fun parties. He has fun parties, and he was having a, a football watching party of a Sunday, as you do. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it, it's, it's the rumor got around. You know, I th uh, somebody said Tom Cruise is coming today, and I was like, No, he's not. It's like it's a football party. We're all watching football. It's like a bunch of idiots yeah. eating pizza and drinking beer. Tom be Cruise is yeah. not coming to this football party. Cut to three minutes later, Tom. Cruise walks in with his mom. What? Mom, mom Cruise. Cruise. Oh my gosh! I didn't even think about that, dude. That's genius. Can you start that? <laughs> mom Cruise is the best. And is the best line I mean, ever. And then cut to the reverse of this, like 40 dudes just with their jaws on the ground. Like, is this <laughs> actually happening? So I, I did bring that up when I say, Yeah, that was a fun party, man. We had a great time. Yeah. Me and my mom. That was awesome. I was like, He remembers it. You remembered that. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, it was clearly more important to me than you. But how was how was Mom Cruise? Excellent. And just cool, right? She could hang. Yeah. yeah. She could hang. I love that. That's fantastic. It was a fun, fun time. And Tom, you know, Tom is the is is the most uh, giving, kind of wonderful guy. He's the first guy in, the last guy out. He's the hardest working guy on the set. He's always in a good mood. He's got all the heavy lifting to do, including like flying planes at Mach whatever. And you know, he's it's it's inspirational. I'll tell you that much. Uh, I, I, let's talk about No Sudden Move. Let's do. Uh, this is a heist movie. Yes. I don't want to give too much away, but that's that's the, that's the thing now. The I didn't do it. You can't say that. Well, that, no, that, there's, that, a lot of other a there's a lot of other people in the movie. That's not even in question. Wasn't me. Shaggy's in the movie. The rapper or the yeah, cartoon the, character? The... <laughs> oh, no, Scoop. Yeah, cool. We're in a heist movie directed know, by Steven Soderbergh. Number. <laughs> Rogie Doke. Rogie Doke. Dude, Steve Soderbergh, come on. Cartoon characters the audience hasn't seen uh, great under Alex. <laughs> Dude, this is great when you do impressions. But, uh... But how, what's it like getting directed by Steven Soderbergh? Well, first of all, we shot this movie in October. So it was, it was in the middle of the pandemic. We shot it in Detroit. The movie takes place in the 50s. So it's a period film that has a lot of moving parts, a lot of cars, a lot of, a lot of costumes, a lot of hair and makeup, everything that you wouldn't want to do in the middle of a pandemic. And, <laughs> and Steven Soderbergh was like a, like a conductor. He just, just, everything, nothing phased him. He had this very, very complicated story with, with all these moving parts. 
we would finish uh, in six, uh, have six hour days, nobody got sick, we stayed in a bubble, everybody stayed in, in the same hotel. That was very fun, so we all got to kind of hang out. It was a lovely, lovely experience, and we made a really wonderful movie with an amazing cast. It's, 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 it's Benicio Del Toro. Benicio Del Toro, Don Cheadle, Ray Liotta. Don Cheadle. Myself, it, and, and people <laughs> like me. David Harbour, yeah, exactly. Harbour. David Harbour, you were so, yeah. Uh, I want to show a clip here is uh, John Hamm and David Harbour in No Sudden Move. Take a look at this. Mr. Wirtz, Detective Joe Finney, Michigan State Attorney General's Office, Organized Crime Task Force. Organized Crime? Yeah. Uh, Detroit Police uh, got two phone calls. One from a friend, Mrs. Atkinson. She said she was concerned, and then another from a neighbor said they heard loud noises. Organized Crime, like the mob. Well, I guess that's a $64,000 question, isn't it? 